Hello, and welcome to the cab familiarization video for Komatsu PC-170 through PC-490 LC-11 excavators. Let's get started. The operator's cab of the Komatsu-11 excavator is a spacious work environment, providing comfort and functionality. Let's get familiar with the features inside the operator's cab. The front window frame can be raised and locked into place. The lower front window pane can be removed and stored. A sliding window pane is provided on the cab door. And a standard hinge skylight is provided. The Komatsu High Resolution Color Monitor provides state-of-the-art operator control over machine operations. The monitor boots up automatically when the engine is started. We will discuss the monitor operation in greater detail with different videos that follow this one. The adjustable air ride seat allows the operator to position himself for comfortable actuation of the function control levers. There is a convenient switch to turn on a seat heater. Komatsu excavators are equipped with a lock lever that disconnects the control levers whenever the lock lever is down. The operator should only raise the lock lever while seated and prepared to operate the machine. The right control lever operates the boom and bucket. The left control lever operates the arm and swing. The left control lever also has a power max button to temporarily increase digging force. The control levers for travel can be actuated by hand or by foot. The operator can actuate forward travel or reverse. He can steer left or right. Or he can counter rotate. The horn switch is installed on the right control lever. The ignition key switch and throttle potentiometer are located on the right side console. The lamp switch is labeled with a sun to indicate day mode and a moon to indicate night mode. Push the switch to night mode and the work lights will illuminate. The monitor screen will also dim. Push the switch to day mode and the work lights will illuminate and the monitor screen brightens. The sensor position of the switch is off. The swing lock switch will engage the swing brake, overriding the normal brake release function. This prevents the revolving frame from swinging. Do not use this switch to stop a swinging machine. The machine push up switch changes the digging force exerted by the boom. When the switch is in the high pressure mode, maximum digging force is available. The low pressure mode makes leveling trenches easier because the boom resistive force will yield with less effort. The radio is located in the console on the left side of the operator's seat. The secondary engine stop switch is located on the seat stand near the operator's left foot. It is used to shut down the engine if the ignition key switch fails to stop the engine. Lift the cover and closing the switch, then flip the switch up to stop the engine. Closing the cover will return the switch to its normal position. The fuse panel for protecting the electrical systems is located behind the operator's seat. Occasional failure of fuses is not uncommon. However, if the replacement fuses continue to fail, then a greater problem exists and it must be investigated. Three system cancel switches are located inside the fuse compartment. These switches temporarily override a specified system to allow movement of the machine to an area where service can be rendered. The emergency pump drive switch makes it possible to perform hydraulic control functions for a short period of time when there is a failure in the electronic pump control system. The swing brake cancel switch makes it possible to perform swing operations for a short period of time, even when there is a problem in the swing brake electric system. 
The lever lock auto lock cancel switch will temporarily cancel the PPC supply oil auto off feature. The cab lamp is located in the top right corner of the cab behind the operator seat. A small hammer is installed behind the operator seat. Use this to break the window for an emergency exit if the door is jammed shut. The cigarette lighter is located behind and to the right of the operator seat. Two 12 volt power supplies are located behind and to the left of the operator's seat. A lunchbox with vented HVAC airflow is located behind the operator's seat. A storage box for documents is located behind the operator's seat. An auxiliary port for your iPod or MP3 player is located near the radio to the left of the operator's seat. Let's step away from the operator's cab for a moment and discuss the system operating lamp and the battery disconnect switch. The batteries can be disconnected for long-term storage or when electrical repairs are being conducted. Remember, do not disconnect the batteries while the lamp is illuminated. The illuminated lamp indicates that either the DEF pump is purging fluid or the onboard computers are processing data. This concludes the cab familiarization video. For Komatsu PC-170 through PC-490 LC-11 excavators. For additional information, please reference the Operation and Maintenance Manual for your specific machine. Thank you for choosing Komatsu products.